So today we are at this sweet campsite in Montana. Um, we're in the Big Hole Valley, um, right next to the Big Hole River actually, um, outside of Wisdom, Montana. Um, turns out, town of like 100 people, but it's got this really cool, um, they call it Memorial Park. And it is just the coolest. We think it's just set up for um, people that are bikepacking or touring through the area. Um, this is a major tour route for adventure cycling. But we'll just take you around the side here. This is the view out the back side. It's got a vault toilet, water pump, free Wi-Fi. Um, just absolutely unreal. But that is not why we are doing a video today. Today, we're gonna to show you our solar setup. As you can see, it's sunny. Um, we've been pulling in great solar all day, parked where we are. Um, but we're gonna walk you through our system um, and let you see how everything's kind of set up. Um, yeah, so let's check it out. All right, so now we are on top of the roof um, with all the mosquitoes. And these are our solar panels. We have three 100 watt Renogy solar solar panels. Um, they are wired in a series, and that's really all there is to see up here. They're attached with Z brackets and then covered with a turn -a bond tape. If we could do it again, we likely would have extended our roof rack a little bit farther to attach the panels directly to it, but for our first schoolie build, we think it turned out okay. All of the cables from our solar system run under our kitchen cabinet. Uh, that's where we keep the charge controller and the inverter. This allows us to keep a close eye on the battery voltage and the quality of the system while still having things up and protected and out of the way. Um, our surge protector right there is where we plug in all of our 110 outlets and then up on the wall um, you will see the switches for the different 12 volt appliances and the carbon monoxide detector for the propane system. All right, so you might be wondering why I have you down here on the ground if all of the solar panels are on top and all of the electronics are inside the bus. Um, we have a very important part of the system down here, and it is the relay that we use. So that is where we house one of our starting batteries. That is where we connect our house system to the starting batteries. It's on a switch on the inside. So it's really simple. So. Uh, one of these is a signal wire going up to where we tell it um, what to do. The other is a ground. Um, and then this is obviously there's a wire coming from this hot terminal. And then this is coming from our battery bank. So really simple. Hit the switch here, up in the cab, kicks it over. We can charge our system off our alternator that's running the bus. All right, so there you have it. That's our really simple solar setup. Um, it provides plenty of power for everything that we use, um, the laptops, the cameras, the phones, um, all that stuff that we come out into nature to escape. Um, it allows us to charge those whenever we need them. Um, in days like today, we get full sun all day with very little cloud cover. Um, it's good to have solar. Um, even yesterday when it was all cloudy and rainy, we still kept the batteries topped off. So um, it's a great system. If you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out on YouTube, Instagram, email, okinomads at gmail.com. Um, we'll try to answer whatever we can. We're not electricians, um, but we definitely play one on YouTube. So um, give us some questions and we will try to help out the best we can. Yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time. If you are interested in the more technical inner workings of our system, we have published a blog post on our blog about how everything works together, what components we use, the nitty gritty of the system that you kind of can't put into a YouTube video. If you want to check that out, I will link to the blog in the description. And thanks for watching.